Did you know black women once used their hair to draw escape maps in Colombia? In the 1800s, enslaved African women forcibly taken to Colombia would communicate with their communities through braided hair, most importantly for planning escapes. For example, a braided hairstyle called the partes, meaning depart in English, would signal that the person wanted to escape. Black women would also record with their braids the obstacles they would encounter on their journeys to help others escape. A river was represented with a braid in the shape of a worm. A bantu knot represented a mountain. And if there were soldiers in any part of the route, they would use really thick braids still known today in the Pacific region of Colombia as tropas, which means troops in English. On top of that, inside the braids, sometimes gold or seas were hidden to ensure they would survive after they escaped. Because of these escape maps of braids, many Africans were able to escape and form the famous free settlements known as Palenques. Some of you may have heard of San Basilio de Palenque, which is one of the first free black towns in the Americas. It's also one of the only remaining Palenques in Colombia. It can still be visited if you're in the Cartagena region. Today, this rich history of braids is celebrated every year on May 21st at the Afro hairdressing competitions in Cali, Colombia. May 21st is Afro-Colombian Day, but it also marks the abolition of slavery in Colombia in 1851.